Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're gonna be doing my own nails. This is a very old video that I have yet to post, so here we are today doing this very old set that I have done on myself. So if you missed it, I did a summer camp McCart class and it was such a blast. So these were the nails that I did for that event. Super long, super fun and summery, which was perfect for the event. I ended up wearing pink for it as well. So that was nice and matching, of course. But I'm getting started by going in and prepping my natural nail. I have been doing a lot of the pop-off method on my nails because I've been using my own hands for content so if you have been following me on all my other social media i've been extremely active on tiktok and instagram doing short form videos doing tons of nail art and showing you guys a little glimpse of my life so if you guys did not know i am very active on those platforms but i'm gonna go ahead and buff off that shine from my natural nail speed always at 4000 rpms using a mandrel bit and sanding band and look at me you guys i am clipping my cuticles it's so exciting to see my growth i know I know you guys are so proud of me, but I absolutely adore doing this now and I will never go back. Now, just to kind of finish off the look of the very polished manicure, I'm gonna go in with a ball bit and just buff off the rest of that dead skin, specifically on the sides of my nails. Not the cuticle so much, but just those sides because they do get a little crusty and I do have a habit of picking. So we're gonna smooth all that out. Next, I'm gonna be taking my Young Nails brush on glue on these amazing tips that I purchased off of Amazon. And we're gonna be applying that onto my nails, trying to get that ring finger as straight as possible. So if you didn't know and you have a crooked finger like I do, always point it the opposite way of the way that your finger is turned. So mine turns in towards my middle finger. So I'm gonna try to point it out towards my pinky, if that makes sense. That makes it look a lot better. And it just has all the nails kind of flowing in the perfect direction so I know sometimes I get it a little crooked but I try to do it as best as possible so that they all look nice and cohesive now I'm gonna be going in and filing that natural nail blending that together using the small mandrel bit from Kiara Sky this is one of their recent launches and I absolutely adore it if you want to test it out definitely recommend it it's such a good staple bit to have especially since it's so little Next, I'm gonna be taking a lint-free wipe and a little bit of Young Nail Swipe and cleaning off the surface. This is gonna remove excess dust and also dehydrate the nail, taking the place of a dehydrator. So I'm doing kind of a two-in-one. And not to mention, there's no lint because the lint-free wipes are nice and lint-free. I'm gonna go in with a Triple X Bond from Not Polish. This is their primer. Absolutely adore it. I do do two coats of that, just for reference. Now we're gonna be going in with our color. So I decided to do more of a pinkish base than my typical nude colors that I gravitate towards. So this beautiful color is called Light Sand and I'm gonna be using that in the portions where the nail would be nude. So I'm gonna be doing kind of a smoky marbleized look just in the center of the nail. So I'm taking my Not Polish acrylic brush. This one is in a size 12 if I'm not mistaken. And then I'm going to be dipping my brush into the colors that I'm gonna be using. So for this design, we are using pink, yellow, and I'm using a little bit of milky white to kind of blend everything out and smoke it out a little bit better. So again, taking that nude color, we're just going to be placing that in the nude sections or the pink sections. And I'm pretty much leaving a void right in the center because I don't like piling up a lot of product on top of each other. So as you can see, it's pretty thin right in that middle section because I'm going to create a design there and I don't want it to get too bulky. I would much rather apply more clear acrylic than necessary then use up my colored acrylic. I've always been like that. I don't know why, but it saves product, ultimately saving money. So I've always done that. Now I'm gonna go in and apply all the colors pretty much with a wet base. So I am using a very wet bead and a very wet brush to do it. It's going to be a lot easier. The more you think about it, the worse it's gonna turn out. So when you apply those colors, just put them on the nail, blend them out, grab a little bit of a different color, blend it out. And I'm pretty much using more of a tapping motion than dragging. So that's gonna be the key to get it nice and smoky. And then I feel like adding in that milky white color just makes it look a little bit more smoky, but it also diffuses a little bit of those brighter colors, making it a little bit more soft, again, making it more smoky. So 
Again, I grabbed two of the colors. I pretty much picked up both of them, I think, in this bead. So I went into the white, then the pink, and then the yellow, and I kind of blended it out. And then I grabbed a little bit more white to get it to diffuse a little bit. And then same process, I picked up some white and then some yellow directly after, placed it on the nail, and I'm literally just tapping it out, smoking it out very, very easily. And then boom, you got a beautiful marble design. Again, do not overthink it. That is going to be your downfall. Now I am just going in and repeating that on the rest of the nails. Again, they are gonna be extremely thin, but we are going to make up for that thinness and add the thickness that we need with the clear acrylic. Now I did wanna take a quick little moment to say I missed you guys so, so much. YouTube is like my biggest platform and I have neglected y'all. We have been going through a little bit of a rough patch just trying to deal with all the things behind the scenes. I know a lot of you guys know that we have Vita Bella now, we have the salon, we have a two-year-old little toddler almost. So it's just been very hectic over here, but I do appreciate everyone that has been keeping up with all my content. And we're back. We will be posting from here on out Thursdays and Sundays at 8.15 a.m. Central Time, so definitely tune in. And as always, make sure to comment in the comment section whatever kind of content you guys want me to create for you guys and I will do my very very best to get that out there and always do know that I am doing events here and there meet and greets classes and all that good stuff so definitely keep up with my community section that's mainly where I post them but mainly on Instagram as well so I do share a lot of those posts on Instagram and a quick little moment if you guys are paying attention to the video I accidentally picked up my nude instead of my clear but I quickly fixed that, so I thought that was kind of funny and I wanted to leave that in there for you guys because I am not perfect and I definitely make mistakes all the freaking time. So getting back into it, I, again, will be posting more consistently now and again, do not forget to comment in the comment section what you guys wanna see from me and follow my other social medias for all the life updates that are going on and all that good stuff. Now, as y'all can see, we are encapsulating. I am using the Not Polished Clear Acrylic. It is super, super clear, so that's always my acrylic of choice. And I do like to do my nails thin anyways, so although I am bulking up that nail, adding thickness to it, I still keep them nice and thin because I remove my nails very frequently. So when it comes down to filing and soaking off, it can be a pain in the butt if you have them super thick. So I just choose to leave them nice and thin. I know that they're not gonna break because I am very careful with my nails so it is doable and it is okay to have them thin as long as you like it and your client likes it I'm gonna be going in and filing once everything is super, super dry. First, I'm gonna be taking my e-file at a speed of about 11,000 RPMs. Along with that, I'm using a five-in-one bit. This one is from Kiara Sky in medium grit. It is just my preference, but you can absolutely use fine. I definitely wouldn't recommend a coarse one for sealing the cuticle, so definitely keep it with a medium or a fine grit. I'm just going in, sealing that cuticle, blending it nicely to the natural nail. I wanna make sure that it is not bulky in that area, otherwise it can cause lifting. So if you've noticed that you have lifting issues, it might be that you're doing everything else correctly, but if you're having it thick in that area, it can cause lifting. Next, I'm gonna be taking my hand file. I absolutely adore using my hand file with long nails. It's just so satisfying and I feel like you get everything a lot smoother, a lot quicker, and you're able to really see exactly where else you need to file. Now I'm gonna be filing the tip as well, all in one motion, going nail by nail. So I go one side, then the other side, and then I do the tip, the surface, and all that good stuff.
Next, I'm going to be taking that same bit and my e-file at about 8,000 RPMs, and I'm just going to be squaring off that tip. I feel like if you have those little hangy parts, I don't even know what you would call it, but the excess of the tip that kind of gets accumulated under there, it just does not look good. And sometimes just doing that simple little step kind of makes everything super crisp. So I'm just taking my buffer at this point. We're gonna be buffing the surface. You don't have to do this if you're using a fine bit. I honestly feel like if you file the surface nice and smooth with bits, you don't have to buff it and you can go right in, wipe them clean and then go in with your top coat. But I went ahead and top coated and this is the final result. Let me know what you guys think down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned a ton and I'll see you guys next time.